What's up guys, welcome back to Rotor Pro. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you know that Young LA is having a 25% off site-wide sale. So if you enjoyed the series and you wanna get some new clothes, you wanna support me in any way you can, this is how. You can use my code ANT, you can get 25% off, whatever you like. Young LA also restocked a bunch of items, so that graphic is on screen for you guys so you can see what they restocked. And that's pretty much it. The sale runs for 72 hours, starts live today, Wednesday at 3 p.m. EST up until Thursday, Friday, I guess Saturday. Yep. And that's it. So, what else can I say? Enjoy the video. Ah, ah, yes. Now, into the first video post show. Is this the first video after show day? Yeah. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Rotor Pro series. This, this is episode 40. Episode 40. Wow, holy shit. Yeah, you see that? It did go to episode one again because that show day was a stepping stone towards the Rota Pro card. Um, we secured our qualification as well as a couple trophies. So no complaints there. Oh, what can I share and update with you guys? So obviously show day, I enjoyed the food. You guys saw it. It was awesome. I uh, had a great time enjoying the food, a lot of dopamine. Uh, I'm already back on diet. It's Monday now, and so I enjoyed Saturday night, Sunday. I did cardio this morning, sent check-ins to Kyle. I want you to guess how much my weight was up. Weight was 201 on show day. Today, what did I weigh in at? I'll give you guys five seconds. 209.2 this morning. So <laughs> <laughs> up just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Um, it's gonna come right off. Send my check-ins to Kyle. He goes, Here, here's my text with him. Dude, that's like on, that's on the scale 25 in three days. If I continue, yes, day, I would, I would have fit. <laughs> okay, hold on, but can I actually say something really quick? Yeah. One day post show, so this is like the day after the show, mm -hmm. before we had all the food yesterday. That's 203. Yeah, you, you wait in, he goes, oh, I'm 203, I'm good. <laughs> well, what happened was yesterday, I didn't, I ate three meals, I didn't really drink much water, so my body was just yeah, holding on to it. I think it was the water for you. I, I drank yeah. a gallon and a half. Yeah, I didn't really try to, I, didn't, yeah. I know I'll be fine. So yeah. anyways. Sent Kyle my check-ins this morning. Bro, what do you say? It said 209.2 laughing face. Uh, let me know what I do for cardio. It said 209.2. I said, yes. He goes, boy was hungry. I go, he's content now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, did my cardio, followed my meal plan already to a T. And um, we have a new game plan going into this new show. So, it was a regional show. As I said, it was just a stepping stone to nationals. I had the qualification. So, we weren't going to come in 110% to then make it hard to come in another 110% in for the second show. So we came in at like, I'd say 90%, 85. Um, didn't really do anything crazy of a peak. We just filled me back out. And Kyle literally told us to take it like it was another training day. So we went to the gym, we pumped That's up on stage. Training day yeah, bro, it was a lot of posing for me. I will admit, I obviously went flatter towards the end of the day and that was a feedback from head judge, Steve Weinberger. He said I was, I was fuller in the morning and that was the look got flatter at nighttime, but if I only did one division, I'm sure it would have been much easier to hold on to my fullness. I did all three, so like a schmuck. <laughs> so it was good, it was, it, was a, it was a very fun time, back on track, um, and if video future ahead, we'll have Kyle on the channel. There's been some comments saying, like, where's Kyle at? He's here, just like here. He's, he's busy, he's, he's yeah. busy, he's yeah. renovating his home. Kyle got a new house, he got an R8, um, so we're twinning, you know, but he's been busy. So we'll get him on the channel and then he will sit down and discuss the game plan leading into this national show for you guys to know like, hey, this is what we did for this show. This is the difference now for nationals. So we have six weeks, a little bit less now at this point, um, 42, what, 40 days, 39 days mm -hmm. to go. So sweet, man. I'm ready for it. I am in my bodybuilding competitive season. So, you know, I'm ready to shine, ready to do it. Trying out Echo Vision's pre-workout today. They sent me a package, as I mentioned, still looking for supplement company. And we will try it out. This is Bax's pre-workout, who unfortunately passed away. Rest in peace, Bax. Um, but I'll let you guys know how this one is. Oh, this is it? Bro, you just got all the companies. Fucking, fucking C4, Bax, Huge, Evogen. Um, Foria. Foria. Whoa, that's like a Jolly Rancher. Ooh. Raspberry, that's, it's a solid, you want to sip? It's nice. She wants to start tweaking. It's delicate. I, I don't like watermelon, so like this is this might be rough for me. A sip. I got a dick little sip. Like a tongue dip. Oh, it's better than just watermelon. The raspberry adds to it. Mm -hmm. I I don't like watermelon, but cool. 
Well, um, what's up, Grant? Want to show the medals? What? Oh, fuck. That's what you're looking at. Hang on. Are we going to Jersey? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Sorry, I'm just really soaking in all like, the love you've been giving me. <laughs> we told for the first time after show day for the first wow. time. Wow. And then right, maybe like six two weeks. Months. Yeah. yeah. Usually we just get in bed and like go to sleep. And it was really, and it's fine. <laughs> but it was really nice. It was really nice. It was hot as hell in our hotel room. For some reason, the AC wasn't working. Yeah, dude, it was a sauna. In it was there. hot as hell. And the more Allie people, was, Allie was letting me just like literally blanket over her, and she didn't complain once. How, how could I complain? <laughs> we got another package from Huge. What do we got? We have a fruity cereal protein. As I said in the video, I'm like looking for extravagant flavors. And I did try this out today, so I already did. <laughs> Birthday cake. It tastes just like cake batter. Like the, I don't know if this is just in New Jersey. I think it's all around. You guys have the for real milkshakes. Yes. They used to have it at Quick Check or gas station where you Wawa. get it in the free. Yeah. You go in the freezer, you take it out, you rip the lid off, mm -hmm. and it goes in the machine, goes up, spins it. Now you got a milkshake. That tastes just like cake batter. The single serving of Recton Range. I'll pass on the Recton Range for now. I'm not a stim junkie. If I was ever in, I don't know, if I get deep in prep and I need the stims, I'll take it. But again, still low on stims. Fiber. Ooh. 10 grams of fiber. That's helpful. I don't need fiber at the moment, but off season wise, I probably could have used it, honestly, last night. Um, it should be good today, though. Cool. I got two fibers. That'll be good for you, Ali. Hmm? No, fi fiber makes me actually hold on to it. Psyllium husk oh. powder. Very cool. Oh, it's the same blend as. Uh revives oh very nice yeah. yeah 10 grams of fiber that's awesome sweet thank you oh, another wrecked in rage shit <laughs> shit 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 well let's go start this so what are you training today I'm training shoulders not chest well chest and shoulders but today's primarily shoulder focused I have a story to share with you guys in the car all right so the promise story time so on show day, when I finished pre-judging, I finished, you know, the first pre-judging all my divisions. I was now going in the stands to go watch my girlfriend Allie compete. So I met with my friends. I sat down with my friends at first. I was like, shit, I'm gonna go say hello to my friends and I know my family. So I went over to my, my parents, hugged them, said hello. My dad comes over and he's like, I got something funny to tell you. He said, I was sitting down like in the VIP, like front row. And then you came out, I started cheering around like, yeah, Anthony. And the guy behind me cheered for you too and said the same thing, like, yeah, come on, Ant. And my dad turned around, spoke to the guy, and was like, you're here for Ant? And he's like, yeah, like, I support him. I watch his YouTube. And I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm his father. That's my son. So they met uh, this man and my father. And my dad told me when I was now in the stands, he's like, hey, can you come meet this guy? And I said, yeah, sure, of course. So he takes me over to him. I met him and his fiance. I shook their hands. They came all the way from upstate New York to come watch me compete. Spoke to him a little bit. And he just said the impact I had on him. They said they, him and his, his fiance sit down at dinner time watch my videos together eat their meal watch my youtube content and then he was telling me a little about him, his family um his brother he has like took his brother under his wing uh, i say he had a big transformation of weight loss i think he lost over like 100 pounds um and they're just saying they're just like big supporters of me you know um spoke to them for maybe like 10 5 to 10 minutes and then i went to go watch ali compete and he gave me a couple shirts my dad has not get them yet but anyways i i was driving to get fish this morning <laughs> And I opened up my Instagram and I saw he DM me and he said, fuck it, man, I pulled the trigger. I'm coming down to South Carolina to come watch you compete solo. And I was like, dude, no way. I was like, you don't have to do that. I was like, really? Like you want to do that for me? And he was like, yeah, bro. And then like when he said that, I was like, I just like was taken aback. Cause I was just like, it's crazy once again to just like, what I, what I thought about and it made me emotional was Dissecting myself in the situation I'm in, having a camera, YouTube, being a bodybuilder and stuff. It's like, before you get out into the real world, when you're put into this world, you're a kid, right? You don't know anything. You don't know about money or, or you, don't, you pretty much only know like having fun and good and bad, right? And most kids, when you're young, you want to be a superhero. There's some kids that want to be the villain. But most people want to be the good superheroes in the movie. What I thought about this morning was just like, you know, take away like all like the intricates of life, all the crazy tax, everything, all the fucking complicated shit. And just realizing that, you know, 
Now I'm 21, and I'm doing something good in this world. Having a positive impact on other people, whether it be one person, two people, three people. I'm just doing what I love to do, and having that positive impact. It yeah, took a second to myself, and it made me cry a little bit. It made me really happy. Um, so shout out to you, man. I'm excited to see you in South Carolina again. If anyone else wants to come out, you can come out. Um, yeah, May 17th, I'm competing. May 18th, Allie's competing. So... That was the story time. Good story? Great story. Not bad. Hell Not no. Not bad of a story. Junior USA's. Yeah. Charleston, South Carolina. May 17th and 18th. Get your tickets. Get your flights. Go to Ant. Just kidding. Go with me. I don't have an ambassador. Go with UPC. Dude, imagine. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yo, Steve. Yeah. But, all right. First workout after show. which should be a nasty pump because I'm a bunch of water weighed up. So, We'll see what type of crazy photos and content we can record and have a productive workout as well. So, ready for this? Yeah. Roll the Tevez. Damn. Can we do it today? Uh, yeah. yeah. Roll the Tevez, baby. I don't know what people think. If people didn't know I competed here, yeah. and they saw me every day, they're like, oh yeah, fuck, like, pitch shredded. <laughs> Comes in today, it's like, fuck, he broke. <laughs> he fucked up. Oh, God. Huh. <laughs> he's got, he's got the scholarships in the glass. <laughs> You see it? Cause I yeah. don't. Still you want some? Yeah. Wait, where'd you get these? We have a few in the shop. I'll go get some more. Yeah, some over here. Oh see? shit! This is so different. What did I say? <laughs> Sorry for you making fun of them. Holy fuck! <laughs> Whoa! What the actual hell? Grant, put it on. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. I need to get a photo. Wait, no, I need to put it on the camera. Yeah. Fuck. Yo! Right? You get to see it full oh, on. She's so different. Okay. Fuck. Now we gotta try this. Try it with the camera. All right, Aunt, manifest what you want. Go ahead. What this is? Oh, there it is. You can see it. It's fire. Holy shit! <laughs> Manifesting. <laughs> I get my whole manifestation. Well, you look Good like now. Gotta go to the movies. Trying to figure out where I like it. 
We're about to witness the whole entire food. Hope it's good for being like. Damn, nice and full. Yeah, we're about to claw. Uh -huh. So oh. good. That's working. What? I mean, nice little pump. Yeah. And just like that, right back to it. Yep, first workout in. Obviously, I had an amazing pump. It was interesting to just, like, just be moving around because obviously I'm up a, a good amount of weight. So like I was just very slow. Like, I had I was just like I felt fat, like picking up shit. But I know I'm not fat, so it's a special workout. Now we're like I know body parts I have to focus on and bring up. So. My goal for these next six weeks is to improve the overall package I bring to the stage as well as bringing up those body parts. So that's pretty much it from like a bodybuilding standpoint. Hey, so yesterday after the gym, I didn't record anything. I was extremely, extremely tired after the workout. First workout back, think about it, I took Friday off, Saturday posed a shit ton, which was, I mean, crazy. That's harder than a workout itself. There we go, lighting's good. Um, Sunday, traveling back first workout in on Monday. Today I feel better. I want to give you guys updates with like post show things, like how my body is right now. So I woke up today, but well, woke up yesterday, guys, new 209, like 0.6 or 0.4, something like that. Today I woke up at 210. I got my diet from Kyle yesterday. I followed it to a T. 
my body's just like adjusting. So think about it. Um, Saturday, ate everything I had to for the show. Enjoyed myself that night and Sunday. Sunday. Um, Sunday, I ate three meals. Meals consisting, you guys saw breakfast. What you didn't see was Frank came over and brought us over some subs, which a sandwich is my favorite type of food. So we had me and Allie split, right? You had half of mine, I had half of yours. Yeah. We had like an Italian chicken parm with some ham and prosciutto, I think. Really good. Um, and then like a penny vodka chicken cutlet sandwich. And then me and Allie, I was like, it was late at night. And I was like, can I take you out on a date? Because like, this is our last opportunity until the, you know, the next show after the show. So we went and got ramen, which is like a food I never would eat typically because with my mentality or how I just live, I'm like, you know, 40, 50 grams of protein per meal, carbs, fat, and ramen simply just broth, noodles, a little bit of protein. So we had ramen was really, really good. So I had three meals that day. Um, obviously a weird, weird amount of foods, weird sodium. My body's not really used to it. So right now my body is going to adjust back to the diet. So yeah, today I gained a little bit of weight. Haven't used the bathroom yet today, so that's also a reason why. Um, but I think by the end of this week, come by Friday, I'll probably be around 207. Let's see if I'm right. I'm gonna say around 207, maybe a little bit lighter. Hopefully not more than where I'm at now. And then um, I'm sure I'm getting a new diet come tomorrow and uh, I'll have Kyle explain the game plan for the show, so. Yep, that's everything pretty much going on right now. I'm rubbing my nipple post-show.